You're watching this video right now thanks to a hidden world. A sprawling, silent network lying on the cold, dark floor of the ocean. While we talk about the cloud, the physical reality of the internet is far more concrete and far wetter. Nearly 99% of all international data, every email, every video call, every single financial transaction that crosses a border travels through a system of over 500 active submarine cables. Undersea cables carry the lifeblood of modern existence, electricity, gas, digital communications, global banking, the internet itself. Without the cables, all that would grind to a halt. There are nearly 1.5 million kilometers of these cables stretched across the globe, a vast underwater web that forms the true backbone of our modern world. These unassuming conduits, most no thicker than a garden hose, are technological marvels. Wow. But how did we manage to wire an entire planet? How? Oh. Laying these vital arteries across vast, crushing, deep-sea trenches. And what happens when one of them breaks? What happens? The answers involve giant, specialized ships, deep-sea robots, and a level of precision that's hard to comprehend. It all started long before the internet. Back in the 1850s, the idea of instant communication across the Atlantic was a revolutionary, almost fantastical concept. Messages took weeks to cross the ocean by ship. The dream was to shrink that time to mere minutes. After many failed and frustrating attempts, the first successful transatlantic telegraph cable was finally laid in 1866, a monumental feat of 19th century engineering. These early cables were simple copper wires insulated with a natural latex called gutta percha, a far cry from what we use today. The 20th century saw these cables evolve to carry telephone calls, but the real game changer was the arrival of fiber optics in the 1980s. Instead of electrical signals through copper, these new cables used lasers to fire pulses of light down hair-thin strands of glass, carrying digital information. The first transatlantic fiber optic cable, laid in 1988, could carry 40,000 telephone conversations at once. Today, a single modern cable can transmit hundreds of terabits of data per second. That's like downloading tens of thousands of high-definition movies every single second. This incredible leap in capacity is what made the global internet and the data-hungry world we live in even possible. But getting these high-tech lifelines to the bottom of the ocean is an engineering challenge of epic proportions. So, how do you lay thousands of kilometers of cable across an entire ocean? How? It starts with a ship, but not just any ship. These are custom-built, massive vessels that can be over 150 meters long, designed to carry thousands of tons of fiber optic cable spooled in enormous tanks. The process begins with an exhaustive survey of the ocean floor. You can't just drop the cable anywhere. Teams spend months mapping the proposed route in painstaking detail, avoiding hazardous conditions like underwater volcanoes, earthquake fault zones, and even busy fishing areas. The goal is to find the flattest, safest path possible. Once the route is set, the cable-laying ship begins its slow and steady journey. In the deep open ocean, the cable is often laid directly onto the seabed. A special machine called a plow, towed behind the ship, controls the descent of the cable to the ocean floor. Pushes the cable into this channel here, and then, as you can see, this is all underneath the seabed and buries it two meters down so it protects the cable and it pushes it out here and lays it safely underneath the seabed. But closer to shore, in shallower waters under 2,000 meters, the cable is much more vulnerable to damage from things like fishing trawlers and ship anchors. Here, the sea plow plays a more active role. It uses high-pressure water jets to carve a trench into the seafloor, lays the cable inside it, and then buries it under the sediment for protection. 
It's an incredibly slow, deliberate process, inching across the seabed for thousands of kilometers. And once a cable is in place, it becomes a critical piece of global infrastructure. So who exactly is paying for all this? For most of the 20th century, the answer was simple. Telecommunications companies. They would form consortiums to share the incredibly high costs of building and maintaining these undersea routes. A single cable system can cost hundreds of millions of dollars. But in the last decade, there's been a seismic shift. Today, the biggest players in the game are the tech giants, Google, Meta, Amazon, and Microsoft. These hyperscalers operate massive data centers all over the world, and their services depend on massive, constant, low-latency data flow. To ensure they have the dedicated bandwidth and resilience they need, they've started building their own private subsea cables. For example, Google has invested in numerous cables like Curie, which connects the US to Chile, and Equiano, which runs down the west coast of Africa. Meta and Microsoft co-funded the Morea cable, connecting the US to Spain. This new era of private ownership is fueling a construction boom, with an estimated $10 billion being spent on new cables between 2023 and 2025 alone. This explosive growth is directly tied to another world-changing technology, artificial intelligence. AI models are trained on colossal datasets, often stored in different data centers around the globe. Moving that data around requires staggering amounts of bandwidth, and AI applications themselves, from chatbots to image generators, rely on the instant connectivity these cables provide. Submarine cables are the physical enablers of the AI revolution, but this critical infrastructure has a surprising vulnerability. Despite being wrapped in layers of steel wire, copper sheathing, and durable polyethylene, these cables are surprisingly fragile. It's estimated that there are between 150 and 200 cable faults every year. Wow! The vast majority of these aren't caused by malicious attacks, or even sharks trying to take a bite, but by human activity. Fishing trawlers dragging heavy nets along the seafloor and ships dropping anchor in the wrong place are responsible for the most breaks. When a cable is severed, the economic impact can be immediate and severe. A single disruption can cost millions of dollars an hour in lost financial transactions and business operations. In 2006, an earthquake off the coast of Taiwan damaged multiple cables, disrupting internet and financial services across much of Asia for weeks. So what do you do when a garden hose-sized cable breaks thousands of feet below the waves in the middle of the ocean? You send in the repair crew, a highly specialized operation that feels like something out of a movie. Fixing a broken undersea cable is a complex and time-consuming process. First, engineers have to find the exact location of the break. They do this from a land-based station, sending pulses of light down the optical fibers and measuring the time it takes for the signal to reflect back from the break, pinpointing the fault with incredible accuracy. A specialized cable repair ship is then dispatched to the location, which could be hundreds of miles offshore. These ships are equipped with grappling hooks and remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs. The grapnel is lowered to the seabed to snag the cable and carefully hoist it to the surface. Once on board, the real magic happens. In a dedicated, sterile clean room, highly skilled technicians painstakingly splice the individual glass fibers back together. This is a process of fusing strands of glass thinner than a human hair. They cut out the damaged section, splice in a new piece, and then rebuild the multiple protective layers around the repair. The entire process, from finding the fault to laying the repaired cable back on the seabed, can take weeks and cost millions of dollars. As our reliance on this network grows, the importance of protecting it and even using technology to predict faults becomes more critical than ever. The world's appetite for data is only growing. The expansion of 5G, the Internet of Things, and the continued explosion of AI are all driving demand for more bandwidth. 
This means the subsea cable network is constantly expanding, reaching more remote parts of the world and bridging the digital divide. New technologies are also pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Innovations like space division multiplexing are allowing engineers to pack more individual fiber cores into a single cable, dramatically increasing its capacity without making the cable itself much thicker. At the same time, artificial intelligence is being used not just to consume the data these cables carry, but to protect them. AI-powered systems can analyze maritime traffic to detect suspicious vessel behavior near cable routes, potentially preventing sabotage or accidental damage before it happens. These systems can also monitor cable health in real time to predict potential failures and optimize data traffic across the global network. From the first crackling telegraph messages to the AI-driven world of today, this silent network of undersea cables has been the invisible force connecting humanity. It's a testament to human ingenuity, an engineering marvel hidden from sight yet woven into the very fabric of our modern lives. The next time you stream a movie, join a video call, or simply browse the web, Take a moment to think about the incredible journey that data is taking. Traveling at the speed of light through glass fibers, deep beneath the waves, along the secret, silent world of undersea internet cables. Thanks for watching! If you found this journey under the sea interesting, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the hidden systems that run our world.